Hello guys, uh, welcome to Penang. Release the traffic there of. Look out. Okay. <laughs> um, yes, there's no footpaths. Hmm. Let's go somewhere with this footpath, shall we? Uh, I'm going out for lunch. It is like 5 p.m. Ash is just upstairs doing some stuff. Uh, yeah, late lunch. I've been editing most of the forever and I haven't really been out much. Uh, so I thought I might as well take you on a little walk. I'm gonna go for food, lunch first, definitely a, probably a coffee. Uh, and then, then, uh, may just walk through like the old town. So where I am now, obviously Penang, Penang is an island that is joined actually by at least two bridges that I know of. Um, and the part that we're in now is like a, what is it, U, U, UNESCO, UNESCO World Heritage Site called Georgetown. The whole town, I believe, is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. And I mean, to be honest, we've been walking around it a couple of, for the last couple of days. We're actually moving tomorrow to another part of Georgetown. Um, but I'm really taking you with me because after the long journeys, you know, two days of traveling, I was exhausted, didn't have the energy to put into saying hello to you. <sighs> now I kind of do, although I do need a coffee and I do need some food. Um, so yeah, we're just going to walk through now part of Georgetown. Generally actually heading to um, a mall I forget the name of. Paling, 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 Palingi, I think Palingi. Something like this, uh, which is kind of that direction. Uh, it is a shame that I kind of haven't taken the camera out because Oh, I think it was a rat or something. <laughs> something moved. Um, yeah, it is a shame because it's amazing. It's a really amazing city. Like the way they've built, you know, it's a, a the loud truck trying to reverse. Yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's an amazing town, amazing city. Um, obviously, we've just been around the old town, like I said, Georgetown. But you can definitely see the amount of effort they've put in to just restoring their heritage. You know, not all buildings are like restored, you know, but, and there is, but there's definitely like a regeneration project that is happening, it has happened. You know, there's, but there's a lot of tradition, a lot of, you, know, you can see like just how maybe old some of these buildings are. Yes. Okay, I'm going to probably just do some walking and yeah, I'll just show you some stuff, I think, before I get run over. Okay, bye. Uh, okay, I was wrong. Uh, it's actually called Prangin, Prangin Mall. That's where we're heading. But yeah, check out like all the, you know, you can definitely see massive, uh, I guess, Chinese influence here. Um, and even actually where we're staying overlooks like loads of the, what's known as the clan jetties. So from various... Uh, clans that came over from China. Um, I will take you there. I mean, check out this. I will take you there um, at some point. I've already been down there. Uh, it's pretty cool, I have to say. So yeah, see, and then even here, like every so often, there's little things. I tell you all about it. Hmm? Hmm? I'm not going to bore you with the complete details. I'll just show you. Okay, so bring it. We're going to. Another really cool thing about uh, Penang or Georgetown is all the street art around. Uh, yeah, even you can see, um, yeah, like the walls are, there's a lot of painted walls, a lot of painted walls, a lot of street art, like mm, not so much graffiti, but you know, what I would call street art. It is literally everywhere. Uh, 
and it is like a specific project I think that was actually kind of endorsed you know so it's not just random like these ones uh, where all the kids like around they're actually quite famous there's one also that is on like a bicycle and some others you know obviously this guy's on a box and I'm trying to get up um yeah literally a lot going on massive cafe culture here as well so the coffee is good oh, actually we went in there the other day into novice they do have good coffee a little bit on the pricey side sometimes uh, techno gallery Ooh. are any of you techno fans i doubt it's something like that and check out this now there's all these lanterns best way to travel if i guess you i don't know if you can i think we will take it one time uh just to try it out usher and i um yeah but you see like there's temples just everywhere like i said a massive chinese influence on stuff yeah there's literally like feels like a temple on maybe every corner okay i was thinking of going in there because we did go in there last time but um, maybe maybe i can go there stand by so yeah i've stopped here as you can see it's quite a lot going on around um gonna have some food here what have i ordered i think you have to wait and see check out that like there's just it's just so different i think like i think both basher and i were like really surprised obviously we've just come from kind of Copenhagen, right and thailand and it just feels like it's literally a whole different world here it's definitely a different country but you know i think being in kuala lumpur we maybe expected a bit more kuala lumpur but this to me feels more like china i mean i've been to china i've been to shanghai i've been to a few uh, other cities like in China a few years ago now, but massive. It's just yeah. But then you do have like what this is. Uh, it's like run by kind of maybe someone of either Indian or Indian descent, perhaps. And then I think if you go that way further, we may take you there another time. There's like Little India, which is uh, yeah. We had some Indian sweets there, really good. Uh, cool. Okay. When the food turns up, I'll uh, let you know. Looks like he's bought my dessert first. So I thought I might as well tell you what that is, but then I'll save it for after the rest comes. Um, okay, so this is a sin doll. This is a sin doll. Um, what it's got is, I think, cream. I'm not 100% sure. It's definitely got ice. Got like little green uh, jelly worms. Some green jelly worms and it's got um, like kidney beans. I imagine it's sweet. Oh, it's coconut milk. It's coconut milk. Yeah, and ice. Pretty good. Very, really good in the hot day. It's a bit cloudy today though. Oh, it's very noisy here, people. Hopefully, you can hear me. But yeah, so really tasty um a lot of ice in there but yeah i would i would treat it as a dessert uh, i hope you didn't think that i wanted this instead of the first thing i ordered we'll see i also ordered a coffee so we'll see what turns up hopefully just everything let's see let's see i mean check out this look and this is my view ba -ba -ba. temple temple tricycles all lined up there's kids everywhere. <laughs> okay, when the other stuff turns up, I'll let you know, guys. Yes, I also ordered one of these. Um, it's just a coffee, I think. Well, it's like a, like a pre mix, you know, a pre mix. They have like something here called white coffee, which is just like, like a three part mix. They just pour it in, put water on top, and it's done. I think that's what this is. I think. Well, it kind of tastes a bit like tea as well, which is a bit strange. There's like a bitterness to it. So the main dish, I guess, has turned up. I think. Although I almost finished my dessert, um, I just keep going with it. It was so good. Uh, but what have I got? What have I got? I got these. It's called Rocky Bacar Tulu or Yang. I don't know what the Go Yang is. Maybe Go Yang is like half boiled or boiled or something like that or poached. But 
Roti Bakar, roti is bread and Bakar is like baked, I guess. There we go, pretty simple. Uh, we also put some soy and some white pepper on it. Um, I'm sure you all know what <laughs> egg and toast is or tastes like, but might as well give it a go. If I can, oh, they even chop it up for you actually. Interesting. And see, it's kind of like semi half boiled, half boiled egg. You kind of get to play with it a little bit. Just had a big thing fly past my head. Mm. Wow. Even like the butter is like really tasty actually. Yeah, awesome. I think it's only like five wrinkles. I think this is maybe five wrinkles. I'm not sure. I guess I'll let you know at the end. I'm going to get through all this. Probably put some more soy sauce on it and just take all this in. This is the place, by the way. So I'm gonna go to Prangin. Just finished food there. Uh, uh, that was all 12 rinkits. So I'm standing in the middle of the road, talking to people, or you, while people are watching. Um, this here is, this here is Choi Che Kung Temple, I think. You see it's a Chinese temple. A lot of Chinese lanterns around. Um, see like how old some of these buildings are, it's like literally trees growing out of them. <laughs> Check it all out. That's definitely a very uh, Instagrammable uh, city, like there's just so much, like vis so much visually, so visually stimulating I'd say, you know just everywhere. I'm not sure, I mean maybe, maybe we thought that, maybe I thought that when uh, we first when we first got to uh, Bangkok, although I'd been to Bangkok a hundred times, but yeah, you know, there's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot around, just everywhere. And see, here's um, like I said, there's this, this is Armenian Street that we're on, and like each one kind of tells you a little story. You can scan like a QR code there, tells you the story behind it. The Cosmic Street. The early Malay something making brass and copper here. Okay, obviously being Armenian street, I'm, I imagine there was Armenians here somewhere. But you know, just wow, and that's coffee. Like I said, like there's a lot of um, a lot of coffee shops, which I'm quite happy about. Good coffee, Thailand, not so good coffee. <laughs> Um, and yeah, if you don't know, I'm very much co coffee addict. So if there's any coffee people out there that want to sponsor me with coffee, bring it on. Okay. Uh, I kind of know where I am. Kind of, kind of. Uh, I think. And we have been to this mall before, because actually we got um, our phone. Yeah, a new SIM card. Because we did have a SIM card from last time we were in Malaysia, but by the time we got back here, it actually had expired or the number had disappeared or something like that. Uh, but yeah, I mean, even, you know, just this, this is like, it's very colonial to me. Yeah, so there's this fusion of like, kind of European colonialism and like Chinese, is that also colonialism? I'm not sure. <laughs> um, you know, Chinese influence, Chinese heritage. There's a lot, there's a lot here. Um, I haven't actually been on the street, but that there is the mall. I do recognize it. But yeah, I mean, look how nice that looks down here. Uh, cool. Wow. Do you want to come to a mall? I'm not sure if you want to. Um, what I might do though, anyway, is actually uh, stop this video and start a new one. So. Cheers guys, thanks for watching. Not much happened I guess, but you know, I'm just trying to keep these short and sweet so you can just get like a brief insight as to what is going on around in Penang. Uh, look, coffee, look, coffee, coffee.
Um, I've also got Horlex people. I've already had a Horlex. Yes. Yeah, so that's it for this video. Uh, I am gonna go into the mall. Don't know if I'll film it. Not really up for more filming. Sometimes they don't like it either. Uh, but yeah, cheers guys, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you subscribe for more in Penang. Like I said, we have, we are moving tomorrow. So I mean, check that out. Not sure if it comes across on the, um, on the screen, but hopefully. Yeah, plenty more coming. We, we are moving tomorrow, but we're moving to another part of Georgetown. Uh, gonna be there for a week. So yeah, plenty more. There's stuff, there's things, there's things to do. I've been kind of like recovering, like I said, from the travels, but now I've kind of recovered or I've just managed to get my hands on a lot of coffee, which is, you know, kind of the same. <laughs> so yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. Until then, keep on drifting.